Welcome back. We just managed to convince uh, Admiral Brodnack to cooperate with us, so we're gonna have to find another way out of here. How do you intend to disable the force field, Picard? I don't know yet. Actually, I do. I seem to recall how to do this. Let's look at this generator. It has an emitter, an air gap, and another air gap, and a field coil. The force field energy is emitted through this device. The force field... The field energy jumps across the air gap to the field emitter. The force field energy passes through this coil, out the field emitter, and returns to the common terminal. The field energy must return to this terminal to complete the circuit. Now if you remember how uh, electricity works, it will take the path of least resistance. So if we can make this gap smaller, it might jump this way instead of that way. So how can we do that? Well, maybe these disc halves will fit in here. I cannot use this with that. Apparently not, but... We had more discs. And then I zapped up more Brodnack. Okay, no, sorry, let's not do that. Because we can put them together. Now we have a whole disc. Let's see if that fits. Hmm. It does fit, but there's not enough of them. It's still not high enough. I'm gonna need uh, the discs of Brodnack and Pantara. How do you intend to disable the force field, Picard? Why don't you help me, by the way? I don't know yet. How do we disable? I don't know yet. I do know. I want your discs. It did not work. The lower air gap is larger than the upper air gap. I think I have to make Picard figure out what I've just figured out. If I can somehow make the lower air gap smaller, the field energy would jump directly to the common terminal and bypass the field emitter entirely. These blocks from the test are metallic, and together they're exactly the right size to fit into the lower air gap. We'd already figured all of that out. So, now can I ask them for the blocks? I need all the blocks from the test. He does it automatically, even. Take them. Here. Okay. And... It worked. The field energy has been redirected to the common terminal. We did it! Or, I did it, because the others didn't actually do anything weren't for us good people from the Federation, all of us would have been stuck here forever. And there's actually a genuine choice here, because you cannot, you can get out of here in different ways, but I think this is the only way you can get out of here um, with all three of us still uh, participating. Because if, uh, if you work together without more Brodnack, you will kill Bentara and then leave. If you don't work together with anyone, there, the force field is down. You'll die. You humans are resourceful. Now what? And you gotta think that whoever built this test intended for that to uh, be done that way, because I don't believe that it's a coincidence that these blocks exactly fit into the field generator. But the only way they you can uh, defeat the force field generator that way is if you're all working together because you need all three discs to do it. That's actually really clever. So let's move on. Let's see um, what else awaits us. I believe that symbol on the pedestal is the key to the door leading to the control center. I believe you may be right. After all, it is the same shape as the marking on the door we saw on the outside. 
How do we get there? Use the artifact I gave you, Jean Luc. Ooh, future Picard is talking to me again. Well, let's use the artifact. It took me over. Now I can say, wait, nah, 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 I'm gonna take the Unity device for myself, or I can bring both of them over. Which I'm going to do. Because I want to be friends with everyone. I don't understand why you brought us across. We agreed to work together. I had assumed that agreement was a compromise you made out of weakness. You had the opportunity to take the Unity device for yourself. Compromise isn't always a sign of weakness, Admiral. It's the basis of trust. That is an unusual concept. I shall ponder it. You ponder it all you like. I'm gonna take this symbol. And then I'm gonna move over move out here. And I'm gonna save again, because I haven't done that in a while. So now let's see if we can get through that door over there. And again, I think you can actually proceed from the previous screen without the other two going with you. And you will get a slightly different ending, although mostly the same, um, if you don't take them with you. What the hell is this guy? It appears to be some kind of cell or chamber. There is a being inside. What kind of creature is this? I believe it is a Kabbalan. Legends claim the ancient Chodak created this race with the Unity device. We created an entire race with the Unity device? Wow. Eh, well, he probably won't be bothered by us. Except the path is blocked. Fascinating. <laughs> Expected him to say something about how the path is blocked, but oh, there's the door. It's a door. <laughs> how helpful. Okay, well, we're gonna need to get a, uh, we're gonna need to get that door open. So um, maybe we need to talk to this guy after all. So let's get him out of stasis. Greetings, aspirants to the Unity Device. I am your judge. Before you advance any further, you must each tell me why you deserve the device. Oh dear. The Unity Device was created by the Chodak. It is our birthright. Whoever controls the device controls the galaxy. The Gridians deserve it as much as anyone else. I am here to make certain the Unity device is used for the good of all species. What would you do with the device, Captain Picard? He knows my name! Well, it should be used for the good of all. The Unity device should be used for the good of all. What do you consider to be the ultimate good? Um... Kittens. I don't believe there is one ultimate good, but I do believe that each culture, each individual being, has the right to determine what is good for themselves. Well, that was going to be my second guess. What good can the Unity device do for Jean-Luc Picard? Perhaps make up for a father's disapproval, a brother's resentment. Now you may be wondering, how does this guy know all this? Is he telepathic? I think I know the answer. He's not telepathic. He has watched Star Trek The Next Generation. It answers everything. What do you know about my family? I know all about you. I know a cadet who betrayed the honor code of the Academy. I know a lifetime of regret for a love thrown away from fear. 
See, he doesn't know anything about us that hasn't been mentioned in the TV show, so that's how he knows. Trust me. I was young. Those were the mistakes of a youth. What about the mistakes of a man? I know the captain of the Stargazer, his ship destroyed, his dead crew drifting in space. I did the best I could. It was an unprovoked attack. The crew of the Stargazer depended on you and paid with their lives. But that was a small matter compared to your betrayals of the Federation. Betrayals of the Federation? What is he accusing Picard of? Well, we'll find out next time.